Hello and welcome. I know it's been a while since I've done some videos, but I know it's time to get back at it again. I think I actually looked back, it's been about two years. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through a complete uh, build from my Zen server all the way up to you know creating a gold client or a gold uh, image, um, all the way to uh, talking about Kubernetes as well as Flannel and some of the newer technologies that are hitting uh, containerization. Um, so let's go through this first and this will just be the uh, Zen server uh, setting up the main server. I'll be trimming these videos down. Uh, what I'm trying to do is keep these at about five minutes apiece. That way you can see what you like, uh, fast forward through them pretty fast and then uh, or skip them, uh, whatever you like to do. Here you can use automatic configuration if you have, if you have a DHCP server. Uh, if not, then uh, I'd put in a static IP address. This would be one that's on your network that's available. Select your time zone. Uh, if you want to use your network time protocol, you can use that, or you can just use a, uh, a manual time entry. And then you want to install the server. Now completing the installation. Okay, it's finished installing. Now it's going to reboot. Okay, this is a screen that you'll see, and make sure you keep track of the IP address because you'll be connecting to that from the Zen Center that is installed on your uh, workstation or the way you're going to connect to it to uh, set it up. Thank you and that concludes the installation of Zen Server 7.0 and uh, I'll be setting up another one where we'll be actually installing a CentOS 7 image um, from ISO as well and then what we'll do is we'll take that and make that a gold image so that we can use it as a template. Uh, hope to see you guys back and it's glad to be back.